Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cheap PEX connection to go from PEX to these irrigation fittings, which are like 39 cents. It beats buying an $8 connection, a PEX connector, which isn't reusable. And if you don't need it under pressure, it's good for solar projects. I'm using a hose clamp and some cheap inner tube, about $2 inner tube. And you cut the inner tube into little pieces, little rings. And the inner tube uh, allows you to put them over the sh little shark, I don't know, shark bite fittings. And you can cut them long or short. And it allows you to connect to all kinds of fittings that are very inexpensive. These fittings can also fit onto a hose like this, so you have something to screw into. So. What you do is um, you put the fitting, put the bike, hose, bike inner tube onto the fitting and then put it in, let it hang off a little bit so you can insert it easily into the hose, into the picks. Then once you're in a little bit, use a circular rocking motion to get it farther into the picks. Same with the little ring. Sometimes little rings are easier to use. Use a little rocking motion to make sure the rubber gets all the way into the pecs. Then slide over your hose connector and just crimp it tight. Um, the hose connectors are about two dollars but they're reusable. And the eight dollar ones for pecs just aren't reusable and it requires you to buy a forty dollar tool to use the pecs connectors. Now this one's under pressure right now around 35 psi and there's no leaks. The only leak is from the hose to this connector, which is from a 10 cent gasket inside. But you'll notice there's no leaks from the PEX to this connection, which is the connection I'm making. You can cannot see the inner tube inside this side. It went down pretty far, and I put the hose connector right over the inner tube inside. On this other side, you can see the connector is grabbing onto the inner tube because the inner tube goes down about this far. And there's no leaks here either. The only leak I'm getting is actually from the press fit irrigation tubing to this connection here. So this is good for solar projects that aren't under pressure. I wouldn't do this on your house or on a well system where the well is going to keep pumping if this comes undone, but it seems very stable. And here I'll take the connection off just to prove to you that it's under pressure. What's going to happen is this is going to come off here probably before I can twist this end cap off of this piece. Also, I didn't notice this, but I also put an inner tube here to go into this uh, drip irrigation line. I guess I don't really need that, but okay, here we go. Yep. <laughs> So there you go. That was under pressure. And the only piece that came off was not the piece I was using with the hose connector in the PEX, but the drip irrigation line. So now you can use PEX. It's hot water potable. And now you can use it without buying $8 connections everywhere. I'm going to use this to heat my greenhouse in the winter time. And uh, good luck to you guys. Add some comments and let me know if you've done something similar. I've not seen anything like this before, and I searched a lot on the web. Um, thank you, and spread the word.